Protesting continues today on ECU's campus. This coming as police continue to investigate the Theta Chi fraternity for a possible drink tampering and sexual assault. Not on your side's Caroline Boyer is live on campus this afternoon. So Caroline, what happened today? It's called the Stand with Survivors March. Protesters walked right through this area of campus earlier today, hoping to get the attention of university leaders. Protests like this have been happening for the past week. Today, about 40 students took to the streets, marching through main campus and along 5th Street. Protesters made signs and chanted things like believe survivors and no means no. This call for Theta Chi's removal comes as the Greenville Police Department is investigating the fraternity for possible sexual assault. This isn't the first time ECU Theta Chi has had allegations against it. Last year there were three counts of drink tampering. I believe September of 2020, off the top of my head, it was September 24th, 26th, and the 30th, three counts. And then we got ECU police logs and there were dates that dated back to 2018. We just want to make it known that we're not letting this go by one more time. ECU officials say the Office of Students' Rights and Responsibilities is looking into the reports. Um, excuse me. Um, students say they are in talks with ECU leaders as well as police to try to organize more of these marches and protests. Ken. So, Caroline, what are other efforts are ECU students making? An ECU freshman created a petition to remove Theta Chi from campus. At last check, that petition had almost 6,000 signatures. Live in Greenville, Caroline Boyer, 9 on your side. Caroline, thank you.